Have you ever heard of the proud heron, a bird who thought he was better than all the others? This is the tale of a heron who lived near a tranquil pond, a bird of regal stature with a long neck and slender legs. He was quite proud of his elegant appearance, and he thought he was the finest bird in all the land. This heron was not just proud, but also a bit of a snob when it came to his meals. He scoffed at the common fish that swam in the pond, declaring them too ordinary and unrefined for his cultured palate. No, he insisted on the rarest and most exotic fish he could find. His taste was as lofty as his pride. But there is an old saying, friends, that warns us about the dangers of pride. This heron was about to learn a hard lesson. As the wise often say, but as the heron was about to learn, pride comes before a fall. One day the heron spotted a fish he thought was the most exotic he had ever seen. Our proud heron was taken aback by the sight of a large shiny fish leaping out of the water. His heart raced with anticipation. He imagined it to be a salmon, a rare treat indeed. In his eagerness he soared towards it, his eyes fixed on this glittering prize. He was so caught up in his own excitement that he failed to notice the distinctive features that set this fish apart from the salmon he so coveted. As he drew closer he saw the truth. This was no salmon, but a pike, a fish known for its fierceness and sharp teeth. It was too late to pull back. The pike, sensing the heron's approach, turned swiftly and sank its teeth into the heron's long, elegant neck. A sharp pain seared through the heron as the pike bit down. He cried out, a sound that echoed across the pond, startling the other inhabitants. With a desperate flap of his wings, the heron managed to pull away, leaving the pike behind. But the damage was done. His neck bled, and he felt a weakness he had never known before. The heron escaped, but not without a painful lesson. His pride had led him to this moment, a moment he would carry with him forever. Wounded and humbled, the heron understood his mistake. His heart pounded with regret, throbbing in sync with the pain in his neck. His once towering pride crumbled, replaced by a profound understanding of his folly. He had been too picky, too arrogant, believing himself superior and deserving of only the finest and rarest fish. But what did this arrogance bring him? Not the satisfaction and luxury he coveted, but danger, pain, and a brush with death. His slender legs wobbled, not with pride this time, but with the weight of his newfound wisdom. He realized that his arrogance had blinded him, led him astray. He had scorned the common fish in his pond, but it was these very fish that would provide him sustenance and life. His pickiness had not made him better, it had only put him in harm's way. And so the heron made a decision. He would not let his pride dictate his choices anymore. He would eat whatever fish he could find, common or not. And with this decision came a surprising sense of peace. His heart beat steadier, his wounds healed, and he found himself healthier and happier than he had ever been. The heron learned to be grateful for what he had, and lived a happier, healthier life. He had learned his lesson, a lesson of humility, of gratitude, a lesson that transformed his life. And perhaps it's a lesson that we can all take to heart.